Remember this? God, that is smells so good, still even frozen. Okay, so this is exactly the container from the last Cooking for the Single Man series, and I'm just gonna put this in this pot. Nice. Now, if you remember, that was everything. It was the end of the celery, it was broccoli stems with leaves, it's onion skins in there, tips, parsley stems. Ginger skin, cabbage leaves, I mean, everything, it's in there. Mmm, mmm, that looks pretty. Isn't this beautiful? I wish you could smell this. Um, I've got some more aromatics here. Some fresh sliced onions, really thin. These are gonna melt away, some garlic. I've got a lot of bay leaf because whoever said one or two bay leaf rule is an idiot, and I don't know where that came from. Use more bay leaves. They got some dried thyme, some savory, it got a little bit of pickling spice because it's got some great allspice berries in there, cinnamon bark, cloves, mustard seeds, four peppercorn. I got some great aromatic sea salt with Tahitian rose petals in there. I'm just gonna pour all of this in there because we don't care how that goes in as long as you get it in. And I'm gonna cover all this with water about two times the amount of vegetable matter. So, I don't know, that's about a gallon container there. So maybe about two, two and a half gallons. Oh, that's great. This is a vegetable stock, so it's a lot more forgiving than if I were making a stock out of bones, like chicken bones or fish bones or veal bones. Uh, for starters, this is very important when you're making any stock. You never want to boil a stock. You want to simmer slowly. That's why they take a long time. So there's going to be a lot of waiting. And uh, you get everything in the pot, put it on low, let that simmer, and uh, we wait. Hi, Mom. How are you? I'm great. Hey, do you have a quick minute? Okay, can you give, go over your Swiss steak recipe with me again? And I have a pin here. So I'm going to actually write it down this time. Uh-huh. Right, do you, what do you, do you use whole tomatoes and then like break them up or? Whatever, just whatever I want, okay. Is that on, on top of the stove or in, on top of the stove or in the oven? So in the oven or on the stove? All right, is that it? Okay, great. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll put mushrooms in mine because I'm not cooking for my brother, so. So thank you for that, I'm gonna make it. I'll take pictures and stuff and I'll make a little film. And I'll put it, I'll post it all over the internet and then you could watch it. Have you seen any of my other videos? <laughs> Aren't they funny? <laughs> so this will be a video at some point. Okay? All right, thanks, Mom. I love you. And I'll, t I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. For me, this is why I started my blog, so I don't lose my family recipes, and I hope you don't lose yours. So call your mom and ask her how to make your favorite food. Pamela, hi, it's Stacy. I'm just calling to see what works good for you on the filming of your uh, guest editor segment for my blog. Anything you want. Guest editor means that I don't have to edit anything, so you do whatever you want. When you're with your calendar, you could tell me what works for you. Okay. All right. We'll talk soon. Uh, I love you too. Bye.
I already know that this is exactly how I want this to taste. Look at that. <laughs> One of the great things about this stock is you get to eat all these great little vegetables that you're not going to use. Mm. Do you know what these are? These are bean threads, and we'll talk about that later. But I always keep them in my refrigerator because I'm an Asian boy, and I gotta get my noodle on. And um, I especially like to get my noodle on after I've made some stock. Nice. Here's my favorite thing about making um, stock. You remember the mung bean threads? They don't really need to cook, they just need to steep in hot water. And that's how you usually do it. But right before the stock gets done, I just dip a glass measuring cup in here, pour this right in, berries, seeds, whatever the crap is in there, I don't care. I'm hungry. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> can't wait for this, is just get these uh, melted down in here and they go pretty quick. Just a couple of minutes and I can have me a little snack. Okay, so this has just been a couple of minutes and look, these are ready to go. They're ready to eat. Mm, one of my favorite things. And it's okay to slurp while you eat noodles. Mmm. 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 I love these noodles. <laughs> Incidentally, Barbara loves them too. So you could use this to make another run of stock, or if uh, you have a compost pile, you could throw it in there. I unfortunately don't have a compost pile because I live in an apartment, so I am going to have to discard this. I'm just taking some of these big pieces out when I go to strain this out so it doesn't all fall out and plop all over the place. I've strained off all the vegetables out of the broth and uh, now I've just got this really beautiful vegetable stock that I could do whatever I want with. But I want to show you a couple of really great tips. Label your bag so you know what it is. Okay, so check this out. This is a, a great, great thing. I don't know where I got this from. I mean, I obviously didn't invent it because I'm sure people have been doing this. But I like to pour four cups of stock into a gallon Ziploc baggie. I like to do this in the sink so I could really take this and get all of the air out. So what I like to do is take a cutting board that I can balance on, say, maybe the freezer bowl for the ice cream maker, which should always be in the freezer. You never know when you need to make some ice cream quick. And balance this on top. The reason I like to do that is, is I like to take my bag of stock with all the air pushed out. Lay it in here and they'll freeze flat. And that's a good thing, because after they're frozen, you can stand them up in the freezer, take up a lot less space than a big container of stock. Another thing I like to do is pour off in an ice cube tray the stock and freeze that. We'll talk about what we're going to do with this later. Now that all of my stock is frozen, look at how great these are. They freeze nice and flat. I got my ice cubes ready for whenever I need to loosen something up or I need a little bit more moisture in something. And they're gonna be in the refrigerator for whenever I need them. Mm. Mm.